Today we're going to talk about how to paint wet and wet with acrylic. I'm going to give you some ideas for how to do that. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Svob and welcome to my channel. I've been teaching and painting for over 30 years and I've decided to start this channel to help you become a better artist. If you stay with us on this channel, I will answer your questions on a weekly basis about how to become that better artist. To paint wet and wet with acrylic, I use different methods depending upon the circumstances. In my studio, my favorite way to do this is because it's a contained environment, like you see here, you can't see it, but we're in a contained environment. We're in a room. We're separated from the outdoors. I can control the humidity in my studio by putting on a humidifier or something like that, a vaporizer, something that adds moisture to the air. That will give you more time to paint. Another way to extend the amount of time you have to paint is to use retarder. And I've answered that in another question, which you can look up here. Another way to do it is to just wet your surface down with water, water and retarder, water and medium, whatever it is with water. That also will give you more time. Another thing that artists will do that they describe as wet and wet is they will paint a thin layer of paint and color and medium and then paint into that so that you get the softening effect. That's really what you're looking for when you're painting wet and wet is you want to have your edges soften. That's the whole point of it. So as you're painting, you want it to just soften in on its own so you don't have to make it soften. That's the whole idea behind wet and wet and there's a few ideas to get you going in that direction. I hope you found this information useful. And I have a handout called How to Fix Your Painting and you can get it by clicking on the link below. And thank you for watching.